Hello everyone, um, I'm the founder of WIA, so we're an Internet of Things startup that provides uh, developers with a platform to build applications and device, devices. So if you're looking to send a simple temperature reading um, and kind of receive it in your phone, you have to build something like this. So there's loads of applications, databases, and all, loads of SDKs and stuff that you're gonna have to write and maintain, and it takes a lot of time. Um, with us, it looks a bit like this. Um, so we just kind of take, take that all away um, and then you can worry about creating your products. So today I'm gonna show you very quickly in five minutes or less, we're on the or less part now, um, to how to build your own security camera and I'm aptly dressed like a burglar. Um, so you need a, a Raspberry Pi, um, a Raspberry Pi cam, uh, any kind of USB Wi-Fi adapter that you can get off Amazon and a PIR motion alarm module. So this is all it takes to connect our service. We've been working on making it shorter, um, but we've had no luck so far. So what happens in the background here is that this creates um, a, a connection via MQTT with our service. So there's a two-way stream that's always on and it also uh, handles all the authentication with the REST API as well. So you initialize the camera, we use the FS and the Raspberry Cam module, which is extremely old, but somehow works. Um, and all, all, all it does is it kind of con uh, communicates with the camera and whenever it detects, um, when, when, whenever a, kind of a, a photo is created, it then sends an event to our service um, and then the, the file is attached to that as well. Uh, to initialize the motion sensor itself, um, we use the on-off module, so it's really, really easy. It just watches um, the GPIO port for signals coming in, and whenever it does, it'll just send a, a, mo uh, a message to our service to say that motion has been detected. And th this is where it gets a wee bit more interesting. So because there's a two-way stream, you can register functions and call them remotely. So this allows you to enable the alarm, to disable the alarm, and also to take photos at any, any time so it, it allows you to kind of have a really, really strong communication with, with the device itself. Um, I had planned to do a demo, um, but my machine isn't working with the visual rig. So instead, I'm going to skip to the final slide and say thank you. Um, <laughs> 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 Cheers.